In this video on categorical arguments and reasoning, I'm going to show you how to diagram categorical claims. And in particular, I'm going to show you how to diagram the A claim here. I'll do some upcoming videos on the other three, but for now, I just want to get a handle on this one here. So let's start with this. Here's our category of S and P, and we have this overlapping segment as well. A good way to think about this is to divide this Venn diagram into three parts. Part one, which represents this region here. Part two, which represents this middle region here, this overlapping segment of S and P. And then Lastly, region three, which represents this region here. Now, another way to think about this is you can think about it in terms of inclusion and exclusion of members of one class and another. And so this first region here, the region in the pink or the red, is the region of S and not P. The bar over the P stands for the not. That's where there's members of the S class, but not the P class, because it's outside of that P circle, that P category. So the middle section here, the represented by the two, is the overlapping, so it represents both S and P. We have both members of the S and the P class in region two. And so in region three, we have the P class, but not the S class, because this is the area where members of the P class are, but they're not, um, not in the area where the S class is. So it excludes the S class, but includes the P class. So let's look at an A claim here. Here's the standard form A claim, the claim claims of the form all S or P. So, for example, all uncles are males is an A claim. It's of the form all S or P, where uncles is the subject of the claim. The claim is about uncles. And then males is the predicate It's the predicate term of the claim, boy meaning that the predicate says something about the uncles. It's a maybe a characteristic of uncles. So what we're saying here is that in saying all uncles are males, this is the diagram, but let's see how we get to it. Well, the way we get to it is by shading out that particular region that doesn't apply. The particular region that doesn't apply is the region where S is and not P. So the shading of this region stands for the region that doesn't apply to the claim. If all S are P, then we can't have members of the S class that are not P. They have to be included in it. So the A claim is a claim that talks about the inclusion of the members of one class and another class. In particular, the inclusion of the S class and the P class. Every member of the S class, all S, are members of the P class. So the shading of the region here means that this region doesn't apply to the claim. It's the empty set or the null set such that if we had a jigsaw, we could simply cut this region out that I'm shading here, pull it out, and it would accurately represent the truth of the A claim, such that if there is an S, it exists also as a member of the P class. And that's how you diagram the A claim.